didn't find out until... Mm -hmm. <laughs> landed in Belarus. Yeah. Um, my ticket was it's all Russian or Belarusian, same thing. So we got in the room, and as you can see, there's one bed. And we specifically ordered or reserved or whatever two beds, because it's me and my dad. So as it turns out, there are actually two beds in here. I'm using the term bed loosely because we have actual bed, bed number one, the bed I'm going to be sleeping on, and a chair, which unfolds. It's actually pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely big enough, but this is not what I would call a two bed bedroom. This is a one bed bedroom. This is a one bed bedroom with a nice fancy chair. That's what this is. All in all, I'm really happy to be here. I mean, even though I don't think Belarus is the best place to host the World Powerlifting Championships, it's not disastrous by any means. It's nice just being surrounded by other people in powerlifting, so I'm definitely happy to be here, definitely excited to compete. And now it's time to go grab some food because I haven't eaten all day. Yeah, we're outside now. We're having Logging. a very nice time. Yep. My boy and I. Saying lovely. Staying outside because Jet my lovely. brain thinks it's about 3 a.m. right now. And it's actually, what, 10 a.m.? Yep. So we're supposed to stay outside and get some sun on our face. Try to trick ourselves into it. And I'm going to get my rack height. But this I'm, video. I'm looking at racks. <laughs> city part of Minsk is actually really nice. It's so clean here. Everything is so clean. Spotless. Spotless. No. Way, way nicer than when I went to New York. We no we spray painting on anything. No. Yeah, because you, you'd probably get killed for graffitiing anything here. Graffiti. Yeah, I'm just gonna head home and pick out one of the girls from my hoe garden. My favorite drink. Some nice R juice. H is a close second. I like C also. Dave would be in love right now. Look at all these carbs just sitting out. You know this would break like 18 health codes in the United States. All this bread and just pastry and everything just sitting out. Look at this. There's like pizzas with no covering on them just out in the open air. I could just grab one and eat it right now and not even pay for it. Nobody would know. This place is so clean. But it's not just the store, it's just Minsk in general. Wow. It is so clean. And there are people here to clean it up all the freaking time. It's perfect, there's like no scuff marks on the ground or anything. What is this? What is this? Dude. What the fuck? You got chicken eggs, you got chicken eggs? Bam, ostrich eggs, man. Look at that. Look at that. I think it's the equivalent of 24 chicken eggs. And I can see why. It's heavy. It's about as heavy as a bowling ball. There's, there's different eggs. There's different Quiet. eggs over here. These what? Are eggs here look. What? Look at these. These are really cool, James. Yeah. yeah. Let it focus. It's not, doesn't wanna. Look at that. That is really cool. Just finished up my last workout. Some light squats and bench. Uh, like a couple doubles on each and a heavy single and about to go meet up with Andrew my good 83 kilo sub junior friend and we're gonna go grab some food two days out from the competition Yo, what the he's fuck five, five he's five pounds overweight fucking bad. Let's fucking what's he like 
six pounds overweight. He's in my Overall, weight class. Everything overweight. Yeah. I'm going 93. So I'm about seven hours out from the competition now. Haven't really been recording much footage, but not much has really happened. I mean, I've just been like trying to find food around Minsk with Andrew because I weighed in like yesterday morning. I weighed in at 159 and I'm supposed to be 163. So that was an issue. Right now, the only competition I have that I know of is the 74 sub junior from Canada because Hector, who's from the United States, he was the alternate. He's 172 as of last night. So I don't know what he's going to do. He's not even water loading, so he can't like, he can't water cut. So I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen with him. But, and then besides that, people that I don't know about is this dude from Kazakhstan who's rated, I think he's in first place in the IPF nominations and he doesn't have any social media. So I don't know how strong he is. I'm just stretching right now, doing some mobility work. <sighs> There's a foam roller downstairs. I'm gonna go foam roll. Basically just trying to eat my way up to 163 and chilling out until the competition, not really doing much. Bars loaded, platform one. Andreas Nielsen, here comes James English. Go! English, lift is good. This is three times his body weight. James English, platform two. Get it. Get it. Yeah, just go. Oh, oh. Go. Oh. No lift on two. Give him a round of applause. No lift on one. Give him a round of applause. Two, three. The one time you should throw a blue card. Go. James. Let's go, James. James. Loaded. What? Go. Andreas. Go. Speed it. James English, bars loaded. Left four two. Load them off to Tom Chang, Great Britain, left four one. Yeah, James. Late three whites. Whites loaded on one. Check. English. Lift is good. Victoria. Victoria.
Get it. Get it. Load it on two. One. Get, Get it. Two twenty. Okay. Okay. Got a wheat now. Okay. Yeah. Brushes on him now. What can he beat him by? Half, Half a, a kilo. Half a kilo. Half a kilo. Let's go, Will! Go, Will! Back up the floor. All the way, buddy. Let's go. Ah. go, 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 go. Hey man, half a kilo. Half a kilo. Seven ladies go to Kazakhstan. Timur Kasanov. Silver medal go to USA. James English. Six hundred five kilo for him.